control is a legal right for disabled people within the five local areas that are doing the trailblazer for the right to control. These are Bury, Trafford, Stockport, Oldham and Manchester. How does somebody go about getting right to control? <clears throat> well, first of all, you have to be eligible for one of the five, five funding streams. These are adult social care, access to work, work choice, direct payments and independent living fund. And what happens is, um, what you have to do is you have to have an assessment um, done by your social worker as per normal, where your care needs are assessed. Then once that happens, it then goes through the usual process of going to a panel whereby um, your support needs are um, accepted. Then you get given <coughs> the choice, once that budget is agreed, to spend the money in the way that you feel that best meets your support needs. And how would you use a right to control budget creatively? For example, there are many examples of people using their right to control care budget creatively. For example, um, someone who has a social care budget and as part of that budget has um, support access in community and social events may be able to use the money for a season ticket or to pay for to pay for them and the PA to go and watch a music gig. And why do you think right to control should be extended for a further year? I think because essentially we're trying to create a revolution in the way that social care is delivered. Previously it was a top down um, method of providing social care where local authorities care companies and social workers decided what your care needs were and how to meet them. And essentially, we're trying to change cultures and belief systems within those organisations. So, <coughs> to try and give more control over to disabled people over how they meet their support needs. Also, with this new way of delivering social care, there needs to be a new market created um, whereby the services and other type organisations are given the time to adjust to this new kind of social care provision. So in a nutshell, we've started a revolution and we need time to embed the cultures and practices to ensure that true personalisation is delivered to those with support needs. Thanks a lot, Richard. Thank you.